You all go over to Demetria Lit all day. What she has on there is the person that worked with Dr. King, who wrote every speech that he did, who rehearsed every speech that he did, who was Dr. King's right-hand man, however, he was gay. And because he was gay, he was let go with the Civil Rights Organization. His sexuality had absolutely nothing to do with what Martin Luther King was all about. So all this hate, there's some very great people, especially during the Renaissance, the Black Renaissance. You had Lorraine Hansberry, who was a lesbian. You had Baldwin, who was gay. You had Langston Hughes, who was gay. And other writers who got into one apartment. They lived there together and they wrote together. And they wrote very pertinent, beautiful books. So it's not that homosexuals are stupid or dumb and are not out here fighting, not only for blacks, but also for gay people. I saw something that said, are homosexuals born that way? All I can say is, in my family, I have at least 10 cousins that are gay. 10. So it seems like to me that it's genetic. It's no such thing as coincidence. Absolutely none. There's something in the genetic makeup. Maybe they have too much testosterone. For females, maybe they have too much hormones. We don't know unless you do a DNA test. But nobody flips a coin and says, Heads, I'm gay. Tails, I'm straight. Even in the Bible, homosexuality was practiced. All up in Rome, all up in Greece, that's all they did. And they were the most perverted ones to live. They had bestiality. There's some African tribes where it's tradition that the man has a male lover and he also has a wife and kids. That this old white man who had gone to this village it's always the old ones gone to this village when he was younger found out about their tradition and what did he do took on an African lover and before he died he made one last trip back to that village to meet up with his African lover so it's got to be genetic if I have that many in my family, and I know not one person can sit on this platform and say they don't have anyone in their family 
that is not gay. Not one person. It's not your parents' fault. It's not your fault. But Demetria lit all day is highlighting the person who was Dr. King's right hand man. That if it wasn't for him, all these little speeches that we teaching kids about I have a dream, he didn't mean for us to stay in a coma. I don't think that's what the message was, to have a dream and, and stay in a coma for the rest of your life. But check out her channel and then look him up. And you will see his sexuality and what role he played in the civil rights movement.